Hey guys, it's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, the channel to help you crush debt and live a debt free life. And this is my debt free husband. Hey. We're going to do this. And by now, you should know the drill. We are a millennial couple in our 30s. In our 30s, documenting our income and expenses every single month. We are dinks. We live in San Diego. And this is real life. So let's get to it. Is this real life? It's real life. You guys know the deal. We're back with another episode of Beers and Budgeting. We got a new beer. A new beer ready to go. It's called Grim Cassiopeia. This is a artisan beer. It's from Virginia. And it's a imperial porter which means that it's brewed typically in uh, bourbon barrels. And so it's extra alcoholic and uh, it's quite dark and delicious. I've heard good things about this, so I'm very excited for it. Oh my. Okay, so this beer mm -hmm. sounds like it's going to kick my butt. Yeah. Oh, hi. But I'm excited for it. And we're also eating a snack. And by snack, I mean carrot cake that your former uh, boss's, 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 boss made. Something like that. That's very good. So we're going to have carrot cake with uh, this porter, which I think is a good combo. Works for me. Mm-hmm. Mmm. So, very dark. Cheers. This is October. Beers and budgeting, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's already November 17th. Mm-hmm. So. Better late than never. Wow. That is delightful. That is delicious. Wow. So we were gone. A lot. A lot in October. We had work trips, family trips, fun trips, a lot of trips. So it's nice to be home, yes. at least for the short term. And some really surprising things happened inside of our budget that I wasn't even aware of that I think you're going to find really exciting. I'm glad you're smiling about this because sometimes when you do the budget and you find things, it doesn't go that well. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there's, there's, yeah, always a little bit of that too. But let's, let's take a look. All right, October... Ugh, that electricity bill. Ugh. Yeah. That electricity bill. However, you had three paychecks in October. And I did not know that you had three paychecks. And, it was, and I got my bonus. And you got your bonus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that. So cheers. Yes, yeah, cheers. That's amazing. Mm, man, that beer's good. October was a huge income month for us. This is not usual. Wow. We... But we brought in $12,350, which is insane. This is not our normal budget. We normally budget for $7,500. And so I was like, what? Wow. That's uh, what a blessing. It is a blessing. It is a very much a blessing. And I think we talked about this last month, but you and I both work extremely hard to get to where we're at right now. So I love you. Yeah, love you too. <laughs> okay. So going over everything, um, I highlighted our mobile bill in orange because I just, this is the last payment we had for that insurance protection as part of the leasing agreement. Right. So it'll be less than $100 next month. And I already talked to Sprint just to confirm that that Sprint Complete is off. Yeah. Also, Disney Plus just came out. So we're splitting the cost with one of our friends. So it's seven dollars a month. So we're splitting it three fifty a person, like or three fifty per household. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's nothing. That and price isn't gonna last very long. 
No. And I found out through my Facebook group that if you are a Sprint customer, you get Hulu with ads for free. If you have Sprint Unlimited, an unlimited data plan, you can get Hulu for free. So definitely check that out. You'll have to go through your Sprint portal to set it up. I'm really excited to hop into that. So many good streaming services, but somebody also pointed out that there's eight different popular streaming services right now, and we're not all going to do every single one of them, even though I feel like we've been suckered into a few already. What will happen is someone will make something that collectively pulls them together, and then you can flip through them all at the same time, just like cable. Mm-hmm. So basically making cable again. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so we paid our massive electricity bill from September. The good news is our electricity bill for October that we'll pay in November was only $48. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, it was a huge, dramatic change. We also did really well on our groceries. We weren't here we weren't very here. much, yeah. so count that as a positive, I guess. Alcohol, we were pretty much spot on. Gas, we were over, and I want to attribute that to when Lauren was here and we took the car up to Escondido to the safari park. And Oh, yeah. I think we were just driving more. And gas was $4 a gallon. And yeah, there was a spike in gas prices. That's that's also it because one of the total gas bills was forty forty seven dollars. And we paid our renters insurance this month. We had a sinking fund for that, which comes out of the everything in the kitchen sink fund. I just lump everything together so that I can make some interest. And by the way, the Federal Reserve cut interest rates again so our savings account interest rate went down again so it started at two percent and now we're at 1.7 so 0.3 percent okay so that's pretty much the fixed categories the fun categories hmm. we were under on everything but except for clothes <laughs> whoa yeah, <laughs> we we did some damage on some clothes. We bought shoes. Well, I bought work shoes. Mm -hmm. It's not fun. You need them. Mm -hmm. You bought some business shirts and pants from Marshalls. Again, needed, not fun. Yeah, pajama pants and yeah, those are cool. boxers like and stuff. Um, I got shoes, some dresses... And a shirt from Target. Yep. So that all needs to be subtracted from our running total. And then we'll add in our monthly contributions for November. Okay. So which, I basically wiped out my clothing fund. Yeah. For. Okay. Glad I burned that on work stuff. Yeah. So we can talk about adding extra funds to that. We'll see. Uh, everything else looks okay. Oh, one thing. We did end up getting a different mattress. We bought a mattress in July. We bought the Lisa mattress, and we both decided it was too firm. So we returned it, and then we got a Casper mattress. And I'm liking the Casper mattress. Yeah. The thing is, is when you get in a bed and you have that feeling of like, Oh, oh my gosh, this is so comfortable. I don't get that feeling, but my counterpoint to that is I have not woken up once during the night because of being uncomfortable. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, that's the way a mattress should work, so maybe it's the right way to do it? Yes. And the reason I didn't count it in our budget is because we received... A refund back from Lisa, and that mattress was what sixteen hundred dollars. Yeah. It was double the price of the Casper, and we purchased the Casper through Costco. So check Costco; it's the exact same mattress as what you would buy on Casper.com, but it's less. Cool. So did you consider that eight hundred some dollar refund income, like in the twelve thousand that we brought in this month? Did you consider the 
No. Okay. I didn't. Would you? No. I like that uh, chiropractic line there. Yeah. Yeah, that's got couples massage written all over it. Please. Yes, yes. Which leads us to kind of the next area. Our vacation. Oh, I didn't before we get into the vacation. What about fudge here? What happened to fudge? Okay, fudge, yeah. Musin XD from CVS and I'm the sick Ace again. And the Ace Hardware thing, which I think was for work. Yes. So can I delete that from our budget? No. Okay. Because I think you were going to add that as yes. extra time or something. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Well, I'm not worried about eighteen dollars. That to me was miscellaneous, so that's what I put in okay. it. Got it. Okay. Now future. Can we? You're getting excited. I like the anticipation here. Down payment is at seventy thousand. That's cool. We crossed that mark. <laughs> yeah. Was that the big one? Is that what you're excited about? Yes. <laughs> Cheers. We made it. Our initial goal was sixty thousand. We hit that, and we're like, "Well, we're probably going to need a lot more than that." So then we made another goal of seventy, and we were supposed to hit it by December, but we've already hit it. So we're, I don't know, six weeks early. It's still cool. We're actually almost at $71,000, which is amazing. You know what I was thinking about this? This is 10% down for a $700,000 home in San Diego. If we were to move to the Midwest on a $350,000 home, that's 20%. So it's like, what? It's insane. In the three hundred and fifty thousand dollar house in the Midwest would be four times the size. Yeah. Uh huh. So just it keep that in mind. We have that money now. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> All right. Vacation. I see we have four thousand dollars in there, but I'm guessing that's not a real number right now. No, it's not. It's not a real number. I feel like we went way over that number. We blown vacation budget for sure but we went to England Amsterdam Paris Vienna mm -hmm. so I went to Las Vegas yeah. we bought tickets to go to St. Louis we put a deposit down for our five-year anniversary trip to Cancun we bought a companion pass to Dallas. That's eleven dollars. Yeah, that's no big deal. So, yeah. How much did all it cost? Okay, you want to know how much it costs us for our year Euro trip? Euro trip. The Euro trip. He had a conference in Manchester, England. We decided that we were going to make it a Euro trip. Boom, boom, boom. It was awful. Awesome. So, how much do you think we spent total out of pocket? Five grand. Was that including? Everything. Everything. Yeah. Including subtracting your per diem and all of that. Oh. Thirty-five hundred. Out of pocket minus the per diem that he got back from work was. Drum roll, please. $2,630.32. That's not bad. For 17 days in Europe, that's pretty dang good. Okay, so let me show you exactly how I did this. I ended up adding this separate spreadsheet, and I just separated this out by city, and then I showed the cost. And then whether or not we actually used credit card points or what was covered, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, for example, the hotel in Man Manchester was covered. And my flight from London to Manchester was covered by credit card points. So you can see over here that our credit card points covered $168.57 for that one flight. So I did this on down. Um, 
talked about, or I recorded the food, drink, the fun, all of that stuff. So you can see every single time, $150 for that flight from Manchester to Amsterdam was covered by credit card points. Our hotel at the Radisson was covered by per diem and your um, company card. So it was really kind of interesting to see um, how much we dropped in each place. And then down here, the total that we spent from our money was $4,193.07. And then we also spent in credit card points a value of $891. So that was free money we got from using our credit card. Now we used Chase. So that would have been $5,000. Yeah, that would have been $5,000. So we saved ourselves $1,000 by using our ultimate rewards points from Chase. I will link to that below to see how you can use that responsibly because that's how we're doing it. That's cool. um, we got 1562 back from per diem. So that includes a going rate for meals and expenses every single day that that was covered in Manchester and Amsterdam because you also had a work trip in Amsterdam, but that did not include Paris or Vienna. Those were fun trips for us. And then what was put on your company card was almost $4,000. So altogether, realistically, had we done this just for pleasure and there was no work trip involved with this and we just did this on our own, it would have been $9,067.35 to do all of that out of pocket. Just to give you an idea, if you did this just for fun, to do all the things that we did, the four countries, hotels, um, food, all of that stuff. That's crazy. And I said, didn't I say when we were on the trip, it was like to do this in real, like real life without it being on top of a work trip, you'd have to have a $10,000 vacation fund. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Some people save up a lifetime just to do that. Yeah. Do you think... People could do what we did for less than nine thousand oh, dollars. Yeah, without a doubt. We, yeah, we, we went to Paris. We splurged on a hotel. Um, it was a very nice hotel. Yeah, I mean, if you know people who live abroad, stay with them if they got an extra place or you know couch surf or whatever. Yes, we did not do it. It was not a frugal trip. No, no. Mm -mm. No, we went out to nice dinners. Cause, and we said that, but we planned that ahead of time. It wasn't like we showed up and we were like, yeah, let's blow the budget. It yeah. was, we knew ahead of time what we were going to be spending and how much we were going to be doing it and mm -hmm. making it happen. It was awesome. It was so a wonderful trip. And she speaks French. I know. I know. I didn't know. <laughs> and it's actually good French. It's not like some, like, Spanglish <laughs> type thing. It's pretty, pretty damn impressive. Yeah, so when we were in Paris, I was, like, totally just... Loving it. Yeah. Loving every minute of it. So it was a great, great trip. Um, be on the lookout for a vlog. I'm planning on putting that together just to highlight some of the things. That's more of like a keepsake video for me that I could look back on, but I want to share it on this channel because I think it's a lot of fun. All right. So $2,600 is what we spent in Europe. And I also have to add in the 745 from all of these miscellaneous, you know, the St. Louis. Cancun, Vegas, Dallas. Okay. So all that, we've completely wiped out our vacation fund. So we should talk about what we're going to do this month to add to it and replenish it. Um, we need to look up Stash and Acorns. Right. And by we, I mean you. There you go. Uh, while you're doing that, our Jeep Wrangler fund, we had said $1,000, but right now that automated transfers and deposits into that account is only at $500. So I don't think I changed it to $1,000 in anticipation for the Europe trip. Okay. So currently we are at $54.25 for our total in savings for the Wrangler. I buy the wheels. Sweet. <laughs> we got wheels, guys. We got wheels. All right. Uh, stash is at one hundred and fifty dollars and seventy-two cents. Okay. Need 
acorns. Acorns. God, it's hot in here. It's so hot. It's November 17th. It's, it's 79 it's degrees 79 in degrees here. in here. It's like 85 outside. Yeah, what? I'm going to look up the It's so hot. Yeah, 88. 88. We might have to turn on the AC. Shit. All right. It, uh, uh, acorns. Acorns. Acorns is at $1,665.50. 80 cents. What was it last month? Sweet. It was at fifteen seventy three last month. Cool. So almost $100 gained in acorns. So, by the way, my Robin Hood is doing amazing. And that, I How so? I have four thousand seven hundred and twenty-five dollars in my Robinhood account. Good lord! In the past year, I'm up forty-one percent on my investments. Okay, how? I got to figure that out. Oh uh, yeah, please let us know because somebody else was uh, commenting on our Acorns video how you were able to turn three thousand dollars into thirty-eight hundred dollars and make an extra eight hundred bucks. I've made more than that now. Yeah, seriously. Um, maybe for another video. The IRAs, again, stopped temporarily so that we can focus on his TSP. Have you increased the contribution yeah, I, limits to I, that? Yeah, I did that a while ago. We're contributing well. I'm almost thinking we contribute. We can. Well, my raise hit now. So. Now that my raise is hit, we can add more to the TSP. We're almost maxed out. I think another hundred dollars a month, and we'll be maxed out. Really? Yeah, I think. We're not very far off. I'm or sorry, a hundred dollars a paycheck. So two hundred dollars. Yeah. I think we can do it. Okay. I would like to do it. Me too. Absolutely. Okay, and then our treat yourself fund. Ooh. 765. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are so close to replenishing it back to a thousand dollars. Check out our treat yourself video if you want to see what we do to treat ourselves guilt free with money that we've saved up over the past year. Okay, now that that's all said and done, we have a very significant amount of money that that needs direction. And my initial thought was we need to we need to save some of it, we need to give some of it, and we need to spend some of it. <laughs> well, how's our Christmas budget look? So our Christmas budget blah blah blah. Funny you should ask, Kyle. Funny you should ask, Kyle. Um Party on guard. We're almost at a thousand dollars for gifts, which is right around what we like to typically spend for Christmas. And I do have a lot of Amazon gift cards set up because I am an affiliate for a company called Gabby. They're a auto insurance comparison site. They're really awesome. Check them out. And the way that um, the referrals work is you get an Amazon gift card when somebody signs up. So. Um, I'm using that as Christmas money. Okay. For to, me? But it could be for you. Oh. Yeah. So we're looking good there. Cool. All right. So that doesn't need to go towards Christmas. Not necessarily. What about Christmas travel? Have we paid for Christmas travel? Mm hmm. Maybe a thousand towards Christmas, like, because we're going to, to Kansas and Texas. That is true. So maybe we should throw some of that towards the upcoming travel. Okay. So you talk about giving some of it. We gotta wrap this up. Our battery's about to die. What do you think I want to give it to? I think I I know what you want to give it to. All right. The rest of it, I say, we throw at we throw, we split between <laughs> the house and the jeep. And laser hair removal. All right. Fine. <laughs> I benefit from that too. <laughs> Comment below if you know what we're talking about, Ooh. yo. <laughs> yeah. 
it is time. It is time. Okay. We got to wrap this up because my battery is going to die. So is mine. My okay. air conditioning battery. Yes, we got to turn it on. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking it in with us. <laughs> that's what she said. Uh, we'll catch you next month, probably in like two weeks because that's when December's going to hit. We love you. Bye. <laughs>